Hey everybody, so why do things float? Well, let's talk about it. First off, you're gonna to wanna to understand what density is. So density, the formula for it is mass divided by volume. So the amount of stuff per the amount of space. So looking at like a ping pong ball here, there's not a lot of stuff per the amount of space that has a very low density, all right? So how does density increase or decrease? So if you add mass to something, like if you add like stuff into a suitcase, that's gonna de or increase density. Or if you take away stuff, take away mass, that will lower Lower the density of something. Also, when it comes to volume, if you expand something, expand the volume, that lowers density. Or if you compress something, that's going to make something more dense. The density will go up, okay? Also, you're going to want to understand a word, and that word's buoyancy. So buoyancy has to do with the upward force in a fluid. So if you're swimming in a pool, even if you're not thinking about floating it in or not, and if you're playing with like a buddy or something like that, can you like pull them around in the pool or ever like seen people like move around whales in the water? Well, that water's, it, there's, there's a force in there. It's holding them up. There's also buoyancy in the air as well. Word is so much more dense than the air that we don't really kind of feel those buoyant forces. So why do things float? So coinciding with buoyancy and that upward force in a fluid, that's liquids and gases, things layer themselves according to density. So right here you have the water, all right, which water's density is one. So pure water's density is one gram over centimeters cubed or gram over uh, ml milliliters. Uh, I have no idea what the density of this ball is, but this ball is way less dense than the water. So things layer themselves according to density, and because of the buoyant force of this water, it literally holds this ball all the way up, where I mean, I can even try to push it down, and it comes back up. The, the force in this fluid with the density of the ball being so low, keeps this ball afloat. So do know that things layer themselves according to density, the force in fluids, that has to do with buoyancy. Also know like like a hot air balloon, what, what a hot, what's a hot air balloon doing? Well, a hot air balloon, there's so little air in that huge balloon because it's so hot and it's so expanded that that hot air balloon's actually less dense than the air that it's floating around in. So a hot air balloon's floating, a helium balloon's floating from the buoyant force uh, in the atmosphere. Or even Earth, think about Earth. Earth is like one big density column going way to the center with the most dense uh, substances all the way to our atmosphere, which has the lowest of density of things. Uh, so that's why things float. It has to do with density and it has to do with buoyancy. Hope that made sense. Stay curious.